baby comes 13 years ago. There she is. Stand up. Thank you. At 26 years old, she was the first person I met with my bloodline. Put that in perspective. 26 years old, she's the first person I met with my bloodline. I try to be the best father. But when you have so much emotional pain that you did not take care of, I'll just say that I was there for her physically. I didn't know how to be there emotionally. But her mom was going to North Central State. So obviously, we was probably together for a year. Going to nursing. So I had her about five days a week. But in my mind, I could never get away from wanting to leave. I wanted to leave. I don't know why. I can't explain to you why I would want to leave my child. But I needed to go fix me. That's the way I looked at it. I needed to do whatever I needed to do to be the healthiest me because I was unhealthy. So while her mom was going to school, I kept her five days a week. My mom, at some point in time, would say, I can't have Maya tonight. So I just wanted to go run around. I don't know what was wrong with me. I just wanted to, I was so selfish. I was very, very selfish. Um, and just to kind of go back so y'all understand, when, when you're not wanted, nothing else matters. You, it's, it's me, me, me. I'm not worried about you. I'm not worried about you. I'm not worried about you. I'm not, I don't, it doesn't matter. It's how I feel because I need to protect myself. And then my mind was messed up. So a year passes by. Me and my daughter was like this. Me and my daughter was like this. And she's a kid. She only knows what I give her. So if that's what she felt as far as love, then that's what she knew. She was my best friend. Take walks every day. So that year was up. I'm like, yep, it's my turn. Why would I think that it's my turn? What is, what is my turn? What, the, the most selfish thing you ever, ever hear. It's my turn. I gotta go do, I gotta go get me right. I wasn't even worried about my own child. So this is how generations, I could have did the same thing my parents did to me. Just, just leave. Just do my own thing. So I left. I said, I'm, I'm leaving. I'm done. Now, first few months, I came back every weekend. Then I got a second job. I'm making all this money, dressing nice, eating whatever I want. Seven days ago. So I couldn't come back. I'd still talk to her on the phone. This time she's about three years old. And one day she called. Hi, sissy, how you doing, baby? You know, daddy loves you. But is that really love? Love is action, not, not me telling you that. She asked me a question that changed my life. Daddy, why don't you want me no more? Why don't you want to be with me? Three, three and a half years old. I literally don't remember what I said. I don't know what happened after that, right? I said, I'm messing up. I said, I'm, I'm messing up. I'm, I'm doing what, what, what my parents did to me, to my own child. I'm repeating the cycle. Within a month, I was back. I came back. But that year that I took away from her, she got close to her mom at that point in time. And it, it was literally never the same because I, I, I took something from her. So every time, 
every time I'd say I'm going somewhere for about a year, she would cry, grab my leg, daddy don't leave me, daddy don't leave me. And I put that in to her body basically, that one mistake. I can't get that time back, you know? But I came back and I, you know, I've been, been here ever since. I think she's thriving. I try to talk to her about it. She says she don't remember it. But I think that certain things that happen to you in life, it's inside of you.